And Missouri Healthy Schools, Moshe, I did see a lot more news feed and tweets since March of the pandemic. Like really Moshe went from a state association to a leading state association. And I really started to recognize the work that they were producing. I remember one document that they actually put out before many other state associations, all these links to in-person, hybrid, a asynchronous work. And Keith and Andrew, I remember, I think it was Andrew actually that says, take a look at this resource. And we looked at it, we're like, wow, we have to share this out. This is amazing because there was a problem of need among our district teachers that needed a viable solution. And that's one thing that I commend most shape doing so well during the pandemic that they got information out and they shared and they collaborated it or collaborated within our PE profession. Right. In fact, I think our PE health profession better than any other subject put out resources for people to share and to collaborate and it's free because we united as a group Correct. to say, here, try this. And that's one thing that made us also feel like we had to give back. And this right. is one of the reasons why we're doing the Pizza, Pizza and PE podcast. So I, you know, thank you for your work and leveling that up because it was one of those like, wait, what's Mo Shape? I was in the, the national convention years ago there. Right. And now, like the state association has gone from literally just being one of the 50 state associations to being one of the leaders because of their digital marketing. Well, I obviously I, I certainly appreciate you saying that, and and Kim, and I want to be honest with our viewers. We've never had any intention to try to be the best at social media. That's right. not our goal at right. all. Um, our goal is how can we solve problems, right? And that's why, for example, when this alliance that happened like right away especially especially right around the may june area for us mm -hmm. between missouri healthy schools then working in collaboration with mo shape because mm -hmm. the three individuals that led that uh were our pre current president now patrick fine mm -hmm. brad rummel mm -hmm. who's on our board of directors and then sally schultes also on our board of directors and they were developing this tool. I mean, it took quite some time. I mean, this wasn't like an overnight thing. Oh, we know. It was quality work. Yeah. <laughs> and, and they created this massive spreadsheet mm -hmm. uh, based on all these different activities, whether you were face-to-face, -face, hybrid, or mm -hmm. certainly, um, you know, even, you know, certainly virtual. And, and, and we also had 12 uh, frontline physical educators that we're weighing in on some of these tools that we are and resources that we were putting together. And Kim, to our surprise, again, I that's why we also did an interview with the three of them on the uh, uh, Mo Shape Minute. So that way they had a chance to explain the document. So we again, right. we're very strategic on how we release content, right? Mm -hmm. That's why we use the calendar. So we knew we wanted to release that 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 uh, that interview on a Monday. Mm -hmm. Actually, that time we that one actually did we pushed it. Yeah, we did a original one on a Monday. We came back on a Thursday. Yeah. And then Friday we launched the tool. And in 48 hours, we had over 2,400 downloads. Yeah. To tell you how in demand <laughs> that content is specific to frontline physical educators. Mm -hmm. And again, we're not looking to you know set the bar on social media numbers. Yes, we use the data to drive decisions. Yes, it's cool if we can you know do well. But I can tell you that our first and foremost priority is what problem are we trying to solve? Right. And then we just use social media to amplify it. It really is that simple. Well, I, I, I know I say that. I know it's, I got to remember who I am. Right. Just from standpoint, I've done a doctorate work in this area. Okay. I get it that it's not as simple as I make, I make it seem now. But I do believe this. I do believe that any state can take some simple best practices mm -hmm. and see them double, triple, quadruple what they're doing now very easily just by me even making three changes three simple changes repurposing would be one of them it's when you talk about repurposing and you were in the beginning of this podcast saying about you know avoid the one and done right um and you highlight that the purpose behind most shape 
in Missouri Healthy Schools was not to say, look at me, look at me, no. we're trying to get all these yeah. viewers. And I think that's one of the things that people are afraid to repurpose because they don't want the spotlight on them saying, oh, people are just going to think it's all about Kim. No, it's all about the message and helping right. out the profession. So yes, now I understand the repurposing. I understand in case you missed it. I right. don't people say, oh, look at them. They're trying to do this pizza and PE cute podcast. No, it's about bringing the content and having crucial conversations right. and solving a problem that we are all facing. And maybe, maybe providing optional solutions, not to say you have to drink the Kool-Aid, but it's providing a diverse perspectives, uh, viewpoints on how to help and lift up our profession. Correct. So. No, and, and and Kim, that 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 that's exactly right. And you know, have we made mistakes? Yeah, I got data to show you this one. This is a great story. Uh, in, in I think it was July. Um, we doubled the amount of tweets we did, and we only increased by like ten thousand impressions. Mm -hmm. When the month before, we still hit a, a all time record for us, but we did half the tweets. And because some people are like, well, don't you think you're kind of like overdoing some of it? Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we did because we, you know, some of it is more is better, but sometimes there is that point of, okay, more isn't better. You just have to be more strategic when we do the repurposing. If uh, that makes sense. So what yes. I'm saying is yeah. how did we learn that? And now we have a pretty good idea of how many tweets per day or per week that we want to put out or repurpose again. So we've learned some of that. So like I said, not all of it's a perfect science. And that's why the best thing you can do is look at your data. When I saw that, I was like, Oh, wow. So mm -hmm. we only increased by, I mean, we're talking double. I mean, we had something like 50 tweets. The next month we did 100. And always increased was 10,000 impressions. Right. I mean, just to give you a simple example, yesterday I made a tweet about uh, Shape New Jersey. I had 10,000 impressions just from the one tweet. One tweet. And yet I'm telling you that we used 50 to gain the 10,000 impressions, right? Do you see where I'm going with this? Yeah. Yeah, That's why we yeah. looked at the data, but to, to close out on that segment or that, that notion, Kim, that you brought up, look, do we feel blessed sometimes that like we got the, you know, Kathleen Kinderfather, Kinderfather Award, mm -hmm. right, by Shape Central District? And I said this when we did our interview. I said, yeah, we're certainly we're honored, but what I like best about it is finally that work is being honored, not us, not us. Right. Work. In other words, today, more than ever before, we've got to look at social media in a whole different way. It's a tool and we've got to become much more what we need to be, you know, leveling up and understanding more and getting more comfortable with it so we can be more effective. It isn't because uh, the, the, uh, what I like to call the vanity metrics, right? We could care less about the vanity metrics. We just want to know is, are we adding value to our audience? And that's kind of what we look at. And if we don't, trust me, we talk about it openly or sometimes once in a great while, someone has to remind us and that's fine too. Mm -hmm. so that's part of growing. You know, I'm not going to say that we've got every answer figured out, but I will say this because we were one of the first in the games, we got a lot more perspective than most. Okay. Right. So anyways, that I appreciate you saying that and, um, yeah, it's been pretty pretty amazing what uh, MoShape has done, as well as Missouri Healthy Schools specific to COVID-related topics.